Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu my dear brothers and sisters out there Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah I'm going to Umrah tomorrow as you guys already know if you see my previous video um, that I'm going to Umrah Alhamdulillah this is a video requested by a lot of people to show what I'm packing for Umrah 2016 majority of the stuff is here uh, probably say 99% of the stuff is here there's always little bits and bobs but majority of stuff is here you can use this for Hajj no problem at all and a couple of bits I'll mention what to take extra for Hajj but majority of stuff is for Umrah if you find this video useful please 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 share it with everybody out there who's going to Umrah yeah so let's have a look of what I'm going to be taking for Umrah 2016 right guys so here is the setup for what I'm taking with me to Umrah 2016 apologies for the mess around um, Obviously it's a bit hectic getting things ready for Umrah. So this is the majority of the stuff that I'm taking with me. First of all, the most important thing is this for the brothers, Ihram. For all the brothers who are going for the first time and don't know how to wear a Ihram, the link is in the description below about how to wear it. I made a short video on how to wear it or how I wear the Ihram. And mashallah, alhamdulillah, it's done me amazingly. Very, very quick thing about the Ihrams. I've got two Ihrams here. I ordered this one from eBay. It turned out to be not good quality. So I remember in 2014 when I went for Umrah, the ihram that I had was really, really good quality and it wasn't that expensive. So the ihram that I bought in 2014 was from ummahcentral.com. I'll put a link in the description below on where to get this ihram. So I got this ihram through the post, alhamdulillah. Um, and I've got to say it's absolutely brilliant quality. The link in the description below. My personal recommendation would be from brothers at ummahcentral.com. So two piece ihram, a towel ihram. I always go with towel ihram because if you're sweating then the towel kind of soaks up the sweat. So two ihrams, you don't really need two ihrams, I'm taking one as a backup. But the first, um, but you can take one ihram and it'll do fine. You can just wash that there, no problem. So that's two ihrams there. So these are, if you can remember from my last video, I bought two pairs originally from online. Um, definitely well, well worth it and inshallah I'll be wearing these so a good pair of flip-flops are definitely recommended for ihram so put these to the side safety pins I don't need 50 pins but um, let me see if you can zoom up yeah you got the large pins there so this is I got these from uh, Morrison's again it was about a pound 20 or something like that so safety pins for ihram needed I've got these shoulder bags gym bags to put the slippers in again these were about 1.99 from eBay Again, good quality. One for myself and one for my wife. That's very, very good to put your shoes in. Here we have tissues. It's always very important to have tissues wherever you go. So this is for myself and my wife, and just in case we ever need it extra. So again, about 59 pence from Home Bargain, I think it was. I'll tell you where I got the stuff from. So it doesn't have to be mega expensive to get these things. So that's that on there again a few snacks um just in case we're waiting at the airport quite a long time or you just need something for the airplane because when you take off and landing it's very good to kind of have something to chew on um so we've got some chewing gums weather originals some soft mints some of these biscuit type things and of course <laughs> the polo fruit polos um from my video in 2014 what to pack um, my friends were like, mashallah, the polos <laughs> are on point. So definitely, I love these polos. So again, a uh, pack of four from Mazda, a pound, not a problem at all. This I bought from uh, Sports Direct. It's a shoulder bag, a very, very good quality shoulder bag. Um, again, I'm not sure if you can see in there. It's got good pockets. It's got a pocket there. And it's got a pocket at the side. So very, very good shoulder bag. If you don't have one, don't worry. You can get them from Umrah for about... Two, three pound which is not a problem so that's that and i've actually got a pair of extra flip-flops these represent in scotland these were actually 25 pence for a pair in primark i was in primark and i saw these i think a couple of months back and i got them for 25 pence a pair i thought you know it would be good just in case i need some for going to the bathroom or just general um as a backup don't really need this but i thought i'd just get one just in case uh, my, my wife might need it so this is obviously a neck pillow got it for a pound from poundland 
Again, it's not the best of qualities, but to be honest, it'll do for us. If we need to chuck it away, we need to chuck it away. Padlocks is a big, big, big thing. Make sure you have good padlocks. Just focus on that. Yeah, I've got about three padlocks, good padlocks, and um, yeah, the padlock and keys. Dusby comes the standard. Got to keep the zikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala up uh, and the rule upon Prophet Sallallahu during the journey. So when you're on the flight, please try to avoid watching films and these kind of things. The main thing is you're going for ibadat, so very important. Let's move on to this. Topi, so when you're out of Ihram, you can wear... you got the Quran, English meaning of the Quran, which is an amazing read. Alhamdulillah, the best book in the whole wide world. Um, so again, keep yourself busy in Quran, recitation, in the road, and you know, zikr of Allah and everything like that. So that's that. A small book about Umrah, a small book about Ziyara. And this I got from Medina last time. It's a very, very interesting book about the culture and heritage of Medina. So it's got loads of really good things. So inshallah, I'm hoping to explore a lot more in Medina this time. Goes without saying, passports. Passports are, make sure you have extra copies of your passport. And uh, I've got all my documentation here for my hotels, uh, for my flights, etc. E-tickets, everything like that. I would recommend have at least three copies. One with yourself. If you're going with your wife or are you going with anybody else, uh, like a family member, you've got they've got yours and you've got theirs, a copy, and one just in the main luggage, just in case. So make extra copies of your documents, your passport copies, just in case um, you, you need, ever need them. Four bars of soap from Morrison's. It's fragrance and colour free, so we only needed one, but it comes in a pack of four. It's about £1.30, £1.40 or something like that. Um, this would actually come in handy when you're in a haram and you check into your hotel if you need to wash up. Uh, wash your hands, it's good to have fragrance free soap. Make sure you guys don't use any kind of fragrance products whilst you're in a haram after you made your intention because once you make your intention whilst you're in a haram, you cannot use any fragrance kind of stuff, any soaps or these kind of things. So definitely keep that in mind. Right, so the next thing will be Saudi Reals. So I take around about £50 of Saudi Reals with me just in case I need them. Right, so here comes the other part. So I'm going to take my smartphone with me, HTC. Um, I've got this phone from my wife. This is just a basic Samsung phone. This during Hajj lasted me a long, long time. It's very, very good as a backup phone uh, or even as a main phone because my wife will be using this um, just in case you know, we need to meet up or whatnot. So definitely, definitely recommend getting a cheap phone. Again, nine, £10 pound from Asda, Tesco or just any phone shop. Make sure it's unlocked. The SIM cards, again, I'll see what the situation is with the SIM cards, but we'll discuss that later. Extension cord and also a travel adapter. I don't know what the Saudi adapters are. Last time I took travel adapters, but the actual three pin was there. So take one just in case. Travel prayer mat. Best to always keep a couple of pens because when you're entering back in the UK, you might need to fill out a couple of forms. So best to have some, some pens handy. This is a must. I always take this on holidays with me. Um, this is a digital weighing scale. Here comes my kind of technology kind of gear that I'm taking to Umrah. I've got a Gorilla Pod. Um, again, good tripod to have. Travel bag, charger. Again, extra batteries for my camera all my memory cards and headphones for to listen to lectures, nasheeds, Quran, etc. That's that. Miswak, very important. Got my watch. Definitely, definitely take sunglasses with you. I've got about two, three sunglasses. I, I like my sunglasses. All the brothers who've got beards, mashallah, this is... Let me just focus on that. This is the oil that I use for my beard. It's probably the best oil I've ever used for my beard. So toothbrush, toothpaste, some perfume, some utter, just a wee trimmer there, some shampoo, some alcohol free deodorant, again some body for body wash as well. These products, again this fragrance, you can use them once you've shaved your hair, once you've come out of hand then you can use these, no problem. Uh, some tablets, I would definitely say recommend taking diarrhea tablets just in case you have some food and your stomach's messed up and you've got number twos. <laughs> then definitely take that. Again, plasters and also muscle rub because your feet and your legs are going to be sore afterwards. Inshallah they won't be, but if they are, again, back up. 
some batteries for that, a wee bag to put all these things in, and a backpack. So this is a backpack that I got, and it's got all the compartments, so inshallah I'll be taking that. This is what I'm taking in terms of clothes-wise. These socks I got from Primark, let me just focus on that, for £2. These are socks with cushioned soles, so it's quite thick. So it's three pairs for £2. These will come in really handy when you're doing tawaf outside of Ihram. So once you complete Umrah and you go back to the, the Haram to do tawaf, these will come in handy. The uh, reason why I go for black, because obviously they'll get dirty but you don't see them much. So I would say definitely take black socks with you. These are cushioned ones, so again, come really handy and will help you feet during tawaf as well. Got my other pairs of socks there. Taking my headgear, some scarves with me. Some to, to tie imamas. Again, imama is a turban type thing that the Prophet used to wear as well. So, again, got a wee topi in there. Um, this is basically what you wear underneath your thob, your juba. Taking a thob and also taking one jumper just in case it gets cold in Medina. I heard a couple of weeks ago it's about two to two to three degrees in, in the mornings, but I've checked the weather now, it should be okay. I'm taking one jumper just in case. Got t-shirts, um, got a thobe in there, and some shalwar kameez as well. So that's that. Right guys, so that was the majority of the stuff that I'm taking with me to Umrah 2016 inshallah. For your Hajj, majority of the stuff again, it will come in handy. What I would say would be take a sleeping bag with you, a small one, but take a sleeping bag for uh, when you're in Muzdalifah and also take a flashlight, a, a torch with you whilst you're in Muzdalifah because it's pitch black some of the areas and a torch will come in really, really handy. So, um, I've got a kind of wind-up torch, which again was a couple of pound on the end from the internet. So definitely take a backpack with you, and in the backpack have a sleeping bag, and also have that torch as well. Apart from that, that's uh, what I'm taking with. Jazakallah khair to everybody who's taken their time out and watched all my videos, especially this one. Very, very excited to go. I'll put a link in the description below of where I got the haram. Take care, peace and blessings upon you guys. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. This is the two bags that I got from eBay. The strings should be like this. Let's see if they can focus on it. Yeah, so the string should be like that. But instead, they turn out to be like this. Yeah, again, look at that. So, what I would say is, bend these and get these ones I just paid 10 real for these ones which is approximately the same price as the UK ones and already these are double the thickness and it's a very very good quality again it's got a leather bit on the, the side there and it's got a zip So bought one in in grey and bought one in black. So definitely, definitely recommend these. These are available in Makkah for ten reals.